<laughs> My name is Tolu Ojo Williams. I am a debt capital markets lawyer at Clifford Chance. So I trained for two years and then I qualified last September. I was born and raised in Nigeria. I moved to the UK when I was 10. Moving to the UK was interesting because I was really expecting a lot of snow, like a lot of it. And um, I moved here in January and there was no snow. And it, it really disappointed me till today um, that the snow is just not as impressive as I thought it would be. At school, we had an initiative that was focused on combating gun and knife crime, but it was done through performing arts, which I love. And we put together plays, we put together a film, and we would write songs. We had a march that we would do where these songs would be uh, performed. And that really inspired me to want to drive for social change, be it in my community in North London or internationally even. I did always want to be a lawyer. I did not know what kind of lawyer I wanted to be. But my, um, my father was a barrister in Nigeria and my mother was a midwife. So there was a battle of which side do you want to pick? And I think early on I picked being a lawyer. I studied law at university, so I signed up for an inside day right as I started, secured a training contract at Clifford Chance, and then it's kind of guided me through university, graduated, did my LPC, and now I'm here. I'm qualified. I've learned in the last two years that I actually don't know very much about commercial law. <laughs> I would say be prepared to just not know anything for a long time and know that that's okay. I think the biggest challenge for me at the beginning was realizing that I have to keep my confidence even though I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm supposed to learn over two years. I really enjoy working on projects that have a sustainability element. Um, I like work that feels like it's helping the society or it's changing the world in some way. If I can see what the bigger picture is, if I can see what the, the purpose behind what we're doing is, I can pretty much do anything. What surprised me the most about Clifford Chance and continues to surprise me is how different people are at the firm. So you can't really name a Clifford Chance person. You can't say, this is the prototype. And when I did my vacation scheme, I was waiting to figure out the negative. I was waiting to see, you know, okay, the ball's gonna drop and I'm gonna realize this is the downside of working at a, at a place like this. Um, I really just enjoyed the entire experience and it was because the people that were on the vacation scheme with me, the people with HR, the people that I worked with, lawyers and partners, they were just so different but also vibrant in their own way. Equip Africa is a charity that I founded whilst at university and we formed the charity because we wanted to contribute to improving the standard of healthcare in Africa. A friend of mine had done a kind of medical internship <laughs> abroad. Um, she'd gone to Nigeria for the summer to work at a hospital as part of her medical degree. As you do, you work in different departments of a hospital. On this day, she was working in the emergency department. And this 10-year-old boy was rushed in. He had been in an accident. They needed a heart blood pressure monitor and the one heart blood pressure monitor was being used by another patient in another department. And it meant that for a couple of hours, this boy was left not unattended, but the nurses and the doctors on hand couldn't do anything for the period they were waiting for this machine. And unfortunately, in that time, she just watched him eventually um, slip away. We decided on a whim that we were going to try and fundraise to buy another heart blood pressure monitor for this hospital just as a way to make sure that things are put right and to maybe protect other lives from being lost due to a lack of equipment. One of my proudest, proudest moments was being the one that was delegated to go to Nigeria six months after we finished that first project and I visited the emergency centre where that 10-year-old boy died. It was very nice to have words from the people on the ground themselves saying this made a change and this has made us feel a bit more empowered to, to do our jobs properly.
The fact that the firm has been so supportive of me keeping Equip Africa running at the same time as being a fully qualified lawyer um, has been really reassuring for me because it goes to show you know, what you want to know, which is that the firm doesn't want you to just focus in on doing work and that's all you do. Um, the firm wants to support other things that you may be doing in life which have nothing to do with you know, commercial law. They want their lawyers to be happy people and to achieve things. So I feel very reassured that the firm has my interest in heart as well as being a corporate business.